big, entertaining ballets were a huge hit with audiences. The ballet was finally cashing in on its popularity. But overworked dancers were pushed to their limits. When one looks back, there was always something sort of bubbling underneath about dancers' conditions. We danced 200 shows a year, and we were doing big, big full-length productions, so everyone was needed. You never got a night off. That wasn't even part of the question. I suppose you'd hear rumbles every now and again. I was set out to talk about the national treasure that is the Australian ballet, and, you know, I'd be pitching for donations and so I can understand better now why I was sent out to talk about the Australian ballet, because the national treasure was clearly in difficulties. Peter Bain was the administrator. He was an incredibly intelligent and astute businessman. And Peter did a lot of wonderful things. He was a great entrepreneur. But Peter was a businessman, and his idea was to have a very successful, financially viable business, forgetting, I think, that it was also an artistic organisation, a ballet company, where the artistic director is the visionary and the administrator should not be involved in certain parts of the artistic management of dancers. I would say I probably don't uh, particularly understand a dancer, not having been a dancer. Unfortunately, the position we're placed in in Australia is that we receive a third of our income in subsidy. The balance, we have to depend on box office, and in this way, we must run a strictly business operation. We were drawing up the contracts, and I was pressuring the older principals to do more than three or four performances a week. Well, that went over like a cold cup of sick, I tell you that. And, and so suddenly all the, all the dancers jumped up and down and, and, and went on strike. They had the support of the rank and file and <laughs> it all blew up. Last night, 1,800 people sat inside this theatre waiting to see The Hunchback of Notre Dame. On stage, behind the curtain, an angry and frustrated staff had decided to strike. They were doing Hunchback of Notre Dame. The company was so overworked. The standard had dropped because there was no time, no time for rehearsals, no time for proper classes. So it got to the opening night and the dancers refused to go on. And the matinee was canceled. In fact, the rest of the season was canceled. 